Part of what I want to do is help empower you to have more knowledge to make better decisions in this very complex journey of uh, healing from endometriosis to regain your health. And today I'm going to be talking about some basics uh, that we need to have to, as we're going forward over the next couple of weeks in, uh, in terminology and whatnot. So to start with, I want to make sure that we all understand the difference between non-invasive endometriosis, also known as stage one and stage two, and invasive endometriosis, known as stage three and four, which uh, eats away at tissue. Because the, the problems with diagnosis and treatment are completely different for each one of those. So depending on which one you have will determine what you really need to understand and focus on to, to realize what's going on and what you need to do uh, to help get to, to where you want. So to start with, I'm gonna uh, go through with non-invasive endometriosis, let me uh, get this up here uh, real quick. Uh, here we go. So you guys have seen this before, I think, uh, this picture of the pelvis. And again, uh, what we have is we're looking down into the body. So if you could look down your tummy, you got the pubic bone in front, the bladder, the uterus, the right over in tube, blood vessels down to the right leg, blood vessel down the left leg, left over in tube, uterus, sacral ligaments. The yellow stuff here, there's no skin inside, but there's what's called peritoneum. It's like saran wrap that covers the inside organs. And the non-invasive endometriosis is like chia seeds or pepper on, the, on this uh, saran wrap, on the peritoneum. It does not cause scarring. It does not invade. It does not destroy tissue. So, but it can be very small, so more difficult to recognize. Invasive endometriosis, it's eating away and it's starting to scar everything together in here. So some examples with uh, non-invasive endometriosis, we need to look close because it's easy to overlook it. And this is looking in pretty darn close. And one, one of the things, people don't look close enough. So you can see these bits of endometriosis here, but there's some other examples. This is all pathology proven endometriosis. Uh, every picture I'm gonna show you. So this is endo and it's harder to see some of these smaller lesions. And then this is endo too here and some of this orange. Again, all proven on pathology. And this is also endometriosis. You can see some little clear lesions here, but look at kind of that modeled appearance. So non-invasive endometriosis, it's on the surface. We have to look close. Here's an example of invasive endometriosis. We have multiple loops of bowel that are stuck together. They're scarred. We have endometriosis. This patient had to have multiple bowel resections. You can't even see into the lower parts here. And then sometimes we'll get an endometrioma, a chocolate cyst in the ovary. This is the bowel scarred over. But then deeper in here, you may uh, the surgeon may not realize there's deeper, more invasive endometriosis. So non-invasive endometriosis is uh, normal anatomy, but you have to look very close and very thoroughly to make sure where all the endometriosis is. While the invasive endometriosis, you get uh, destruction of tissue and, and that creates a whole nother set of, of issues. So again, non-invasive endometriosis, stage one and two, invasive endometriosis, stage three and four, you need to know which one you have to, to go forward and get the right treatment. All right, that's it.